All right, guys, we're here at Rabbit DCT, and Mark Bowie came by to see the 22, but he's actually had a 22 for many years, uh, several years, a couple years, yes. and uh, he's here in Detroit, locally, doing stuff, producing stuff, and uh, Mark, uh, I don't know, give me a quick spiel on how's the 22 been for your business? Well, the 22 has been, a, been pretty substantial for me and my business. I'm able to build uh, durable components for customers. One of my first customers was uh, HVAC, replacement yeah. grates and uh, spacers in his building. And I never thought I would use something in that area, but I ended up recreating the HVAC vents and grates and it turned out beautiful. What type of material did you use I used for that? ABS. ABS, yes. all right. So large parts in ABS in the heated right. chamber. You showed me a couple parts here that were really right. cool. A couple parts here I ended up, this is a special tool that I was developed for a customer who came to me and says, hey, can you do a tool design? He came to me with a stick figure design, you know, of people. I needed to go into hard substance and be able to withdraw and pull the substance out. Yeah. So the first tool I designed was real quick and dirty. It was real kind of a big handle, long stick. Yeah. And it, of course, snapped. I used uh, PLA because I was just trying to get an idea of what he was looking for. Right. And then the second, uh, the second design and the third iteration, I'll show you the third iteration. It basically came out a much stronger part uh, I ended up increasing the wall thickness 10 to 10 times. And then uh, I used here, this is the uh, PET C that I used for the material. And I printed this on my IDEX. This here tool can take over 100 Newtons of pressure. Anyways, I was very happy yeah. with it. He was happy with the design. If you have an ideal and you wanted to come to life, you can basically use this machine to bring that ideal to life yeah. from, from the board or from your head or from the CAD to an actual end use component. That's the whole idea. Yeah. So you, you've had the 20, well, you've got a fun mat like years ago. Yep. And then you got the 22, like maybe a year and a half, two about years a year, ago. About two years ago, right. I bought the uh, 22. It's a learning experience. Yeah. Tell me yeah. about the learning curve, yeah. getting started, and, and as time has gone on, learning. Right, right. Yeah. So when I first got it, I was scared of it. And uh, I looked at it, it sat on my desk for about, in the office downstairs, and uh, I looked at it for about a week. And then I said, well, okay, let me get going. I had to contact Vision Miner to basically show me what slicers to use because um, yeah. there was there was some programming that had to get done. Did the did the video documentation help? The, the video documentation site? did help yeah. because it was you could go back and review what you needed to do. Uh, Cole and Rob and uh, also Jay yeah. were instrumental in, in um, making sure that we could uh, reset up, calibrate, and things like that to understand the basics. I ended up actually pushing Z offset and running the thing off the bed, <laughs> broke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sent, sent, I sent Rob the pictures. He says, no worries, we can fix it. And his support team was awesome. And it's not that we can fix yeah. it, it's that, oh no, you, you'll be fine. You can fix it, we'll walk you through well, I, and show you I, how, I, right? Yeah, I didn't realize it until Master called me and says, uh, hey, we're gonna walk you through this through Zoom. And I was able to repair this thing that I know nothing about uh, through their fantastic support help. I'm very, very thankful that I found Vision Miner. And it's basically because Rob has been very vocal in YouTube and that's how I found you. It has definitely been knowledgeable. I've learned a lot of things from Vision Miner, from Rob, from Cole, uh, from Jay. This has really helped me to grow my business. Freaking awesome to hear, man. I, you know, you know, as a company, we started and like we need to help people use these higher end materials, these higher end machines, so that they can implement in their business. It's all about you know saving time to make money to put food on the table and all that. But you know, you can jump in alone or with you know some of these companies that don't really support or don't really do stuff. And we're like, we have to master our machines, know our machines, and be able to share that with the customer to drive the whole industry forward. But right. start with their business, that person, that place provide the support needed, provide just education. Most of our right. YouTube is just education type stuff. So and if you don't mind me adding one yeah, more point, sure. um, Please. <clears throat> these are professional machines. And so when people look at you to do a part for them, you got to mm -hmm. produce a professional part. You can't just produce anything. Uh -huh. And so your knowledge is important. Having good support to be able to team behind the scenes that customers don't see but that can help you get to the point where you can express your professionalism verbally as well as in your output of the, of the tool or the part that you're making. And so this is what will ensure that you stay in business. Even in 2025, businesses, 
are based in relationship. A lot of corporate world has forgotten this and lost this and you're a number in the system. You call, you wait 45 minutes and then you barely get an answer and they can't even help you. I don't like that. And so in Vision Miner, we've done it totally differently. It's all about being real, being transparent, helping, you know, and, and that's and that's what grows. So and the experience I've had with Vision Miner in the support area, if they don't have time for me, they tell me, hey, we're going to call you back. And they do. And so I really appreciate that. Mark, it's such a pleasure. You've been awesome to know. And just thank you so much for everything. And mm -hmm. uh, thanks for this video. And guys, if you want to learn more, go to visionminer.com or give us a call. Shoot us an email. Again, we're personable. We answer the phone and we're here to answer your questions and see if what we carry is right for your project. It might not be. And if it isn't, we'll tell you that. If it is, we'll tell you that too. So anyway, thanks again, Mark. Okay. My pleasure. Thanks so much. Guys, have a positive rest of your day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.